Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Mathematics, channel with really interesting and relaxing algebra question. And in this video, as you can see, very like relaxing, satisfying algebra question. It's in the same way, this is not hard question because we have like all three, we have three plus three divided by three and minus three. So very simple numbers, we have only three, this is not like a huge number, so we don't have any thousands right here, we don't have any sine, cosine, we have only three. And in the same way, we have addition, division and subtraction. So everyone learns this stuff in the, in the third grade everyone know about this operation but what is the correct answer right here we have three options a b and c so minus one zero and one which is very close to each other of course but of course we'll have the one and one only one and correct answer so here's a question for you what is the correct answer what do you think so you can easily pause the video and try to solve it by yourself right here we have three options so pause the video and write your letter down into a comment section we will check our answers here in just in just one minute it will be really great just trust me this is a very tricky question and a lot of students do this commonly mistake. First of all, I want to start with this solution and I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, but a lot of students solve it like that. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and minus 3. So one part of students solve it like that. They say, okay, we have a very simple question, then we need to solve it in a simple way. So in an easy in the easy way, of course, we start with addition from so from left to right. This problem as I type it in, yeah, from left to right. 3 plus 3, we have 6. So 6 divided by 3, so we still have this expression and minus 3. So 6 divided by 3 equal to 2 and 2 minus 3 equal to minus 1. So it looks like a correct answer is minus one which is letter a but uh, then i ask students okay how, how can you solve it how can you solve it like that from left to right and you don't care about division addition subtraction so you don't create a correct order right here and then i show to my students okay let's look at this for example pmdmc order of operation this is the main popular order of operation in the world and let's solve it according to pmdmc and let's check with this minus one because i don't i don't trust with this minus one because this is, looks like a weird solution but but it happens sometimes that the solution will be correct but let's Let's look at it and solve it according to PMDMC. So I just separate my two solutions and we have these three plus 3 and divided by 3 and minus 3. So right now we are going to solve it in the, according to a correct order of operation. Yeah, and let's look at it. Maybe we'll have the same minus 1. I don't know exactly, but let's do this. So here's our question and let's do this according to PMDMC. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom. And let's look at this parentheses exponent multiplication division addition subtraction part. Let's, let's start from this parentheses because this is the first step. All the time you need to start from parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses right here or have this parentheses at all? I don't see any parentheses, so it's it's really great because we just we just skip this part. Let's go to the next step. The next step, exponents. And now we need to look at it. Are there any exponents? What about squares, fifth power, tenth power right here? No, I don't have any exponents right here. So which is which is really great because we can easily skip skip this part. So we just skip this exponents part. We don't have it. It's really great because with parentheses and exponent, it's completely like different question and it's more harder than this one. Okay, let's go to the next step. Next step, multiplication. But a lot of students do this common mistake. They forget about division because according to PMDMC, multiplication multiplication and division, this is one common group and we need to look at it as one, as one group, yeah? So multiplication, division, signs. Let's, let's let's try to find the signs right here. Let's look at it. Addition, this is not good. We have division right here, so it's really great. And we have subtraction. So our first step is to divide this 3 divided by 3, which is completely which is completely different as right here, because we start with addition from left to right, we don't care about an order of operations. But right here, we have 3 divided by 3, which is equal to 1. So as a result, we have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 equal to 1 and minus minus 3. So as you can see, the last step, addition and subtraction, and saying in other words, you need to do multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. Yes, so we need to do this before. So we need to multiply and divide before add and subtract. And in our case, we divide 3 divided by 3. And in, in uh, finally, we have 3 plus 1, 4, 4 minus 3, we have, we have 1. So as you can see, we have 1 and this is option C. Right here we have minus 1 option A, right here 1 option C. So which one is correct? Of course, this this is absolutely correct solution because we solve it according to PMDMC. This solution is absolutely wrong because we solve it uh, solve this problem as this problem type it in right here. We just go from left to right real quick because a lot of students do this common mistake. They say that okay, easy problem, then easy solution from left to right. But we need to know about order of operation, and in our case, PMDMC. This is really great to show how can we solve it correctly. So I write our answer right here. 
Our answer, this is option C, because obviously whatever order of operation you select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem, in our case, PMDMC, BODMAS, whatever order you want, and you will have the same answer, C. So thank you for your time, take care of yourself, and if you want to support me, you can easily subscribe for more videos, I have a lot of really interesting algebra questions, math questions, brain tests, and I hope you enjoyed this content. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.